Yo what's up guys welcome to coding board in this video i'm going to show you how to create your first react application before going to the video make sure to subscribe for coding board and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future before getting started you all have to install node.js for your computer it is available for mac and windows and linux for all of these platforms and with the installation of Node.js, it is automatically installing npm for your computer. To do that, install firstly the Node.js for your computer. There is a video on my channel on how to install Node.js for your computer on Windows. Please follow that to install Node.js for your Windows computer. After installing Node.js, you can check your npm version. To do that, go to your command prompt just go here and type like cmd just open it now type npm space hyphen v now just press enter it will show the version of npm on your computer you can see the npm version of my computer is 8.1.0.0 now we can close this. Now go to your one of a folder. Now I am in my D drive. I have created a folder named React and inside that I am in the folder named CodingBot. This is the directory which we are going to create our React project. Now go to here and open up a command prompt. Now type npm space create sorry npm space install space create hyphen react hyphen app now you can just press enter it is installing some packages which is essential for your react application please give your internet connection it is downloading and installing some packages now you can go to the second step npm and then type like now you can go to the second step npx create hyphen react hyphen app space now you can give the name for your project i'm giving like my shop it is the application which I am going to create right now. After giving this command on this command prompt, you can just press enter. Make sure that your internet connection is speed up and scalable because it is requiring the internet connection to install these packages for your project. You can see installing packages. This might take a couple of minutes. It is installing React, React DOM and other scripts which is essential for your react project like this after a couple of minutes you can see this happy hacking success message on command prompt now we have to run our project before going to that i will show you the created project my shop this is the all the files which we have installed you can open this project on your favorite IDE you can see you can go to the open with option here and you can open it uh, with your favorite ID which uh, may be a Visual Studio Code and uh, maybe Intel IJ which is your preferred IDE you can create coding with your project now I'm going to show you how to run our react application you can go to the same directory and take a command prompt now we can run the command npm start you can change on the scripts the start command instead of start command you can give any command like npm um, go you can use that you can set that script npm start is the first command which you are going to run our application on the first step make sure that you are in the correct directory right if you are on a back back directory like cd i will go back 
you cannot run the npm start command wherever you need you have to go inside to your project this is my project my shop and just press enter you can run the command npm start you can see react scripts started start it is uh, running after a couple of minutes you can see your react application is running on your browser after few minutes you can see the development server has started, compiled successfully, and Webpack compiled successfully. It is running on the localhost 3000 port. You can copy this and paste on your URL section in your browser, or else it is automatically running like this. This is an automatic process, which is opening your default web browser, and it is showing our first web page on our React project. It is using this 3000 port normally. This is how we can create a React project and this is how we can run our first React application on our web browser. Thanks for watching. I think you got the idea and share this video to your friends. I will meet you soon in the next video. Bye guys.